no other human being on the planet has won the Champions League four times with three different clubs. Do you want to describe the feeling every time you lift that trophy? Well, first of all, it's a pleasure to talk with you guys. Um, it's, it's, uh, you cannot really describe certain emotions, mm. you know, it's like uh, we talk about Nigerian food, we can talk about it for a week and until you don't taste it really, you will never be able to explain it uh, at the level of, uh, of what the, the reality is. So, um, I, uh, I've just enjoyed the journey, uh, which for me always comes back to that, you know, the journey towards that moment that you lift the trophy and then uh, a little bit of luck is needed. Um, but that luck comes with very hard work, dedication, you know, teamwork and, uh, and all the efforts uh, that comes uh, with the up and down that you have in a season. So the taste of it is the satisfaction of all the sweat you know, that, that you have put in. I'm just going to add humility because I followed you a long time and, and you've gone about your, your work just keeping your head low, doing the job. Um, and I also know that you really do not like to compare experiences. They are massive experiences and you, you savor every one of them. But for us Nigerians, there is one of your Champions League trophies trophy lifting that's, that's special to us. 94-95 um, with Ajax, mm -hmm. you won it, you lifted that trophy with our fellow Nigerians, Kanuma Kwa and of course Vinidi George. I, I've heard you um, talk about some really nice things, you know, your time outside of the pitch with like Kanu and all of that. But describe that feeling um, for us, winning this from you know, with the Nigerian at heart, you know, just describing what it is to, to play and win with Finidi on, on the right flank for you and, and Kanu playing alongside you uh, up front. Tell us about that feeling. What's it like? First of all, uh, it was an amazing uh, experience to be, you know, sharing, um, sharing uh, those years with, uh, with Finidi and with Kanu. Uh, to a great, great football players, talents, legends of the game that have uh, contributed so much uh, in that period of time and, and, and during their career, um, giving people a lot of joy. Um, but really, what 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 stays uh, after football is that relationship. You know, that that brotherhood that uh, was created in those few years together, uh, where you spend that extra time off the pitch. And then playing together as young young dogs, you know, uh, lifting the trophy, making that dream reality, uh, it's the same answer. You cannot really describe that. But I believe that uh, you described it very well of what it means for the people. Because we are also conscious that uh, our victories, and that's why I was so happy before also to share, you know, the trophy with my brothers, um, even if they didn't win it. But every time I would win it, I know I wasn't winning it only for myself. I was winning it for all the people, you know, of color that that uh, you know that I represent, and uh, uh, that is really my joy. That has been my motivation, and that is my joy now today also to to uh, to share this trophy with the world, and especially here in Africa. Earlier in the presser, you mentioned how it was good and happy for you to be back home. All through your journey as a professional footballer, you've had the opportunity of playing with some of the finest black African players. And at a point, you were also here on the continent as coach of the Indomitable Lions. I just want to get your overview of football on the continent. What do you make of it? We have named our brothers here in Nigeria, and then we have, of course, Eto and Dropa, and, and we can name so many more who have, uh, you know, left a legacy in, in the game. Uh, and hopefully now we'll be able to build a legacy for the next generation to come. Yeah. Um, Africa has, for me, uh, one of the biggest challenges, um, which is to, to really be united and to believe and to build from your own uh, people. Um, I think Senegal is a great example. I think that time is needed, you need a long-term plan, um, people like to have short-term results, but that is sports. But if you want to build something that is sustainable in time, 
Uh, and not only Africa not doing that. In many places they are all short term. Oh, I don't reach the World Cup now, so I'm going to change everything. And then you always start from scratch. So I believe the talent is there. The last AFCON I've seen increased quality. Uh, I've seen an increased uh, tactical ability. And the intensity was also physically uh, uh, there. So, you know, it's improving. Um, but it comes back to each federation and each nation actually to build the grassroots properly and have long-term plans in place. Okay. Finally, and outside of football, how does it feel being in Nigeria? It feels home, as I, as I said before. Uh, when I'm in Nigeria, when I'm in Africa, it's, uh, it's also that feeling of uh, connection, um, you know, reconnecting with Africa, diaspora, you know, of African descent is, uh, is, is more conscious now as well that the continent uh, is really our continent. And um, it's always an honor for me to be here. I'm going to enjoy every minute of it, as I'm doing. And uh, I hope we can leave uh, a nice experience for the people who will be with us today.